Hey everybody, um, so here's the deal. Every year I normally do a video where I go through and I shop for budget games, um, except this year that video was terrible. It was way too long for one, and for two, um, it involved too much of me looking at games to see if they are asset flips. So in the end I ended up with 25 things in my cart, for a grand total of seven dollars and 81 cents yeah uh ever since steam allowed people to charge less than 50 cents well less than 49 cents for their games um it has been a boom of really cheap games um many of which are asset flips many of which are you know should be obvious cash grabs as some of them I see right through because I've seen the game before or because it just has a certain vibe where I'm like eh, there's no way that's not an asset flip uh, some of the games in my cart are going to be asset flips so instead of like showing you oh let's get the bed music going yeah let's just get a vibe <laughs> so instead of um going through does anyone feel like they should be watching headphones get tested with this music anyway regardless uh I i'm gonna turn it up a little bit because you know yeah it is a solid song i don't think it gets enough credit for being a really like actually decent song anyway regardless um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through these 25 games i'm gonna find out which ones are asset flips and which ones are not it sucks because i'm going to get to see what other people think of some of these games which i try to go in as blind as possible on these super budget games that don't have a lot of reviews um but yeah we're, we're gonna find out so crazy space pirate do i see any negative like what you're looking for is negative reviews that didn't have any negative reviews come on back to the store uh negative reviews especially by obey the fist obey the fist is the king of finding and crushing asset flip games um, he doing God's work. There are other people as well, uh, but Obey the Fist is like hitting these things right, left, and center. Uh, Nervous Granny, see, oh my God, Obey the Fist says it's an asset flip, and when it's an asset flip, Nervous Granny, shame on you. Remove from cart and tell all my viewers do not buy Nervous Granny. Uh, but I'm also telling you when you're looking for games, Unicorn Dream, this game just looks stupid and I gotta have it. Um, not recommended. Uh, blanded mechanics. Oh, asset flip. Obey the fist said so. So we gotta, we gotta go back and we gotta. Sorry, Unicorn Dream, but you appear to be an asset flip. Space guy, red space. Uh, okay. Unplayable mess. Yeah, that's what I hoped with this one. When I saw this, I was like, that's one of the worst looking uh, Wolfenstein clones I have ever seen. Okay, I'm hoping not on this one because it... Oh, asset flip. I wanted there to be a decent flight sim. Okay, Saturday of Piercing Screams. See how many asset flips there are. I hope not this one. Do you like money? Mm -hmm. Okay, I yeah, I don't care if people like hate it. People can hate it, that's fine. Like, we'll find out if I hate it. I hope this one is not an asset flip. Okay, doesn't say asset flip. I don't see asset flip anywhere, so that's good. We've got, you know, three games <laughs> so far. Okay, I don't see asset flip. Oh, now we're on bad girl. Uh, Obey the fist. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, art is really bad. Pixel art. Uh, yeah. Okay, but he didn't say asset flip. He just said it's bad. And so, like, I can handle bad. My, yeah, my thing is, like, I will buy the game even if people say it's bad. But, like, I will not buy the game. I, oh, this is the one that I accidentally got, even though it has lots of reviews. And people are like, it's a Mario ripoff. Yeah. I got it. I'm buying cheap games. They're going to be ripoffs. Uh, this one's a bullet hell. It might. No. There are no review. One review. But, like, they just gave it a thumb up or down they didn't say whether or not it was asset flip so we're keeping it last night this game looks kind of terrible um oh asset flip says obey the fist kind of glad on that one because this game <laughs> looked terrible i just included it because i wanted more like variety in what i was getting uh fruit bonanza i i'm guessing this is an asset flip no at least nobody has pegged it as one yet so it might be that i wouldn't be surprised just the look and the feel of the game all right save their souls this is the one that looks like keystone capers for the yeah yeah keystone capers for the atari 2600 um, except you're firemen, so you're saving people instead of catching them for their devious crimes. Oh, yeah, this one, because it's got, like, dialogue and stuff, it can't be an asset flip. So it's an on-rail shooter. Um, maybe it's good, who knows? Uh, hockey camp goaltender, I don't care if it's an asset flip, because I've never seen a game like that where you get to play just as the goalie. So I'm I'm getting it regardless. I do not care. Uh, oh, that's right. This one is in early access. Uh, so that means somebody's actually working on it. Um, we will give it a shot. <laughs> Sibix's heart. Sabix's heart. Uh, all right, one positive review. Some somebody enjoyed it. Uh, Pizza Man. This game just looked nuts, but I wouldn't be surprised. No, okay, it's got some positive reviews. Uh, Speed Up. This one I hope is not an asset flip because I had a tunnel shooter that looked a lot like. Oh, Obey the Fist. You're wrecking my day. <laughs> I have been searching and so, okay, I'm going to put this out there. If anybody knows of a really good tunnel shooter that I can get on Steam, um, please hit me up. I'm looking for a good tunnel shooter that is not an asset flip because um, I used to have a good tunnel shooter on my iPad back when the iPad was new. And that game has not been supported since like iOS 6 or whatever. <laughs> so it's been a minute since that's been supported. Uh, so yeah, I, I need I, I need another uh, tunnel shooter. Okay, that one we know that piece of Sumi. Uh, yeah, this one looks kind of crazy. I wouldn't be surprised right kind of a troll of a game uh not recommended uh terrible okay some people liked it some people hated it but liking it and hating it is not reason enough for me uh it is you know asset flips aha asset flip dang it i kind of suspected but it did look interesting enough we're down to 19 games uh let's see actually that's better than i thought but at least i'm getting better at recognizing asset flips oh 
Yeah, this game looks not so bananas, so we're gonna play it. The Cure. Jade Order, I'm hoping, is not an asset flip because, uh, okay. Yeah, people got this game for free. It is puzzle based. I didn't realize that. Um, so let's see. We just got two more to take a look at. Lord of Terror. Nobody says it's an asset flip. Buster Scruggs all over that. Is he from Flat and Scruggs? Oh, lazy. Okay, he doesn't say asset flip. But I like that Obey the Fist is like down here in my same area looking at the same things that I'm looking at. Anyway, so those are the 19 games that I'm going to be reviewing in this year's budget stravaganza. Um, and so you're going to find out before the Steam sale is through, hopefully. Because <laughs> last year it took me like fully a couple of months before I made it all the way through. No, no, that was from the winter sale. I was like reviewing winter sale games in March. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be that bad and we'll, we'll get this done anyway. So let's, uh, let's close this one up. Thanks for being here for this one. I will see you in the next one in which I'll be reviewing one of these games. Okay. Bye.